Let's go on a mass spending spree en route to max our base with the Clashmas Gem Bundles. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. As my subscribers know, if you're new here, welcome. This is my main account and it has only ever been maxed once. That was prior to Town Hall 14, so I need to step it up. But can you see down in the bottom right corner? Yep, we got the Clashmas bundles, and they are epic. We will showcase the Ice King, the Snow Day scenery, and the Clashmas bundles are exactly what we need. But I am not trying to just max my main account. This is my second account. My heroes are maxed apart from the Royal Champion. But with all of those bundles and the fact that I already have a book of heroes, two book of everything, two runes of Dark Elixir, how far can we upgrade her? But let's start by purchasing everything. If you are making purchases, you can click the C in the top right corner of the shop and enter a creator's code before purchasing. My code is JUDO, it helps to support the channel and it is much appreciated my friends. Let's get the Ice King. I wonder how many times I have seen your purchase is successful from Clash of Clans. There he is. But let's move back across, get the Snow Day scenery. And this has something that no other scenery has. I will show you that and do a quick review in a moment. Let's obviously select it. Before I purchase the packs here on my main account, actually, what I need to do is collect anything I can from the season track. Well, there wasn't much there. But the reason for that is when you purchase bundles, they will overstack. So what I should also do is go ahead and beat the Snow Day Challenge. This is because we get a ton of loot and I showed you exactly how to do this. I will link you to that at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and quickly get this done. There we are, beautiful. That now means I have the loot from the season pass and the event, so when I purchase these, we do have Code Judo active, the loot will overstack in my storages. Here we go, are you ready? 50 million gold, 50 million elixir. The dark elixir is a little bit daunting because I can't spend it, but oh well. There we go, that was epic. Maybe we should have started at the bottom and worked our way up. We can do that on my other account. The fact that you get the gems alongside the Clashmas bundle is amazing. We now have over 1 million Dark Elixir that I can't spend. Ouch. It would be awesome if I could just send it to my other account, but that's never going to happen, guys. Just because really people would set up multiple accounts and pool everything to their main account. That's why we will never be allowed to trade resources, but I love when this happens. It thinks that I am accidentally purchasing too much. Yes, I do want this purchase. Wow, we are so close to 100 million in loot. This pack is actually going to push us over that in gold. Look at that, 110 million. It's going to go down fast though, isn't it? We need a quick screenshot. You know what, maybe this scenery isn't the best to get a screenshot of that amount of oh we actually have a winter scene let's go on to this base it actually will work pretty good this is the base where i gemmed all of the mines not too long ago for the world's biggest loot raid can you imagine if we went on defense now i will test that out for you in a future video there we go perfect screenshot opportunity but since we have this base on how many wall rings do we have before we start magic items 131 wall rings each wall ring is 1 million in loot so that is 131 million gold or elixir i have 178 walls to go 
at 5.6 million. I do have the 20% Builder Boost active. There is no way I would spend this amount without having that active. If we select the entire row, it would be 308 wall rings. Oh, I kind of want to save onto the wall rings in case they give us more in the next set of bundles. Hmm. I might do that. Let's start with the gold. If we move one wall out of the way, let's take a look at this. 84 million gold for that. How many more can we get? Let's select this wall. We need to, I don't know, we need to put it in a better place before we do this. Oh my goodness. Clash of Clans. This, this is not right. 95, so we can get one more here. 108 i think we can get one more that is it you will see that one more piece of wall means it's too much we can go into village edit select all remove 19 didn't i say i have 178 left over to go well here goes nothing 100 million gold used in a single click let's move some of this out the way so we can get a nice clean shot can't believe I'm doing this. Maybe this should give us a confirmation screen. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, that is so anticlimactic. And it has this pop-up over the top of the upgrade animation. Got a screenshot that to share with you on Twitter and Instagram, but here we go. Oh my gosh, did you see the gold? That was something else. Let's just say that, but there we go. <laughs> 159 left to go. Let's find out how many walls we can get with the elixir. We can get a few more over there. Ooh, 95.2 million, which would be 119 wall rings. I always think that is wrong because it doesn't give you the gold pass discount for the wall rings. It keeps it as if it is full price. Do you agree the wall rings should drop down? Here we go. Let's spend it. 95 million elixir. Whoops, I tried to take a screenshot and turned my iPad off. Great. There we go. Three, two, one. Let's put this village back on before I forget. Let's put the snow day scenery on. And one thing I want to tell you, take a close look as I zoom in the base and the outside scenery move independently of one another. We also have these cool cliff overhangs down to the bottom of the base as you zoom in and out, which begins to block the scenery as you move in. And to the frozen maze, we have a barbarian. Come on, my friend, you can do it with a banana next to him. There's always one hidden in the scenery. I now have two builders available on my second account. I've also gone ahead, completed the snow day challenge, collected things within the reward track like I did on my other account. Let's input code judo before we purchase. And I don't actually think I'm going to get the Ice King or the Snow Day scenery on this account. I already have them on my other. But let's start from the bottom. I will purchase all of the bundles on this account. Now we are on to the big packs. So far, it hasn't popped up with the confirmation screen. Maybe it just knows from my other account. Either way, thanks again to our video sponsor helping me to catch up a little bit. I've been slacking with traveling for world finals. All of that. And it goes down so quickly. 100 million gold again, but this time I can use the dark elixir. And that is exactly where we are going to start. Let's carefully plan, actually. Four book of heroes, four book of everything. Royal Champion does only have an upgrade time of six days, whereas let's say the hidden Tesla is twice that much, so my book of everything would actually be better on this. I mean, I now do have 29,000 gems due to the bundles, so I think we should use gems initially for the first three levels. 
Oh gosh, look at my dark elixir. Wow, that went down quick. Level 22, Book of Heroes, 55,000 dark elixir. There is no way I will be able to get it up to what I need for the next level. So I guess I should boost the sneaky goblins so that I can do some farming. You know what? I might as well pick another. The wall breaker. Yeah, let's do that. I was going to say the super dragon, but really the dragon and sneaky goblins, they don't go together. 5,000 dark elixir remains. So what I can do is erase my army that I have cooking up in the background and just cook the most expensive dark elixir troops. Lava Hounds get some Valkyries. 103. Might as well go all out, put some minions in there as well. And that means I am only losing seven Dark Elixir when I use my Dark Elixir rune. So always remember that trick. Once I have used the rune of Dark Elixir, upgraded my Royal Champion, used that Book of Heroes, 122. What it would mean is I could remove those troops now and I'm up to 127. So it's a way of keeping that Dark Elixir and not losing it. The thing is, I don't want to use the next rune. Can I get to 148 to upgrade Lassie? Collect this. We've got some in here. I already collected everything, but it would be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 gems to get to the 15,000, which would give us enough. If we were to go like this, 700 gems, but then I wouldn't actually get the Dark Elixir next time. Let's just use the gems here. Lassie it is. That means we can now use our Rune of Dark Elixir. This is the final one. Upgrade our Royal Champion. Use that Book of Heroes! Whilst there is a Rune of Dark Elixir here, I would again be losing 118. Do I have anything in the lab? 127 for the Bat Spell. It would take me a couple of attacks to finish challenges and get there, so why don't we do this? The Research Boost might actually help us. 120, we're still 2,000 away! Enough messing around, let's do this. Let's get ourselves up to this level gem up to this we will need the dark elixir and we also need the dark elixir rune i'm not going to gem that final 100 because i've still got 10 days i will get that plan of action now is to move here we can upgrade the bat spell might as well actually use the book of spells in order to finish that there's another in the season pass Thirteen thousand dark elixir so remember our little trick you can also do exactly the same with the spells although you aren't able to hide as much dark elixir it's something four thousand rune of dark elixir there we go that means now with the hero potion our royal champion would be maxed let's move to our upgrades now then let's pick the most expensive the bomb tower this 14 days yep let's do it with the book of building good night let's actually move over to the lab here i'm actually going to upgrade my flame flinger because i think it's a cool siege machine and i want to get that to the maximum level moving back to our builders then let's just leave the elixir there we have the bomb tower is that really the best option 12 days what do we have for the builder nine days let's go with the bomb tower book of everything do we really use that thing with the book of everything is you don't get them from the rewards track so it's not like every time with the gold pass i'm going to miss out so i'm in no rush to spend the book of everything unless we get one from the clan games or something like that so what i'm actually going to do is Spend my elixir on walls. I have laid out the level of wall that I have the most of on this account, which is level 12. Removing my old ninth anniversary cake just so that it looks a little bit better for you. How many can we upgrade right now? 64.8 million though, gold or elixir. The elixir, yes, I've got some upgrades in the lab, but that's nowhere near as much as the gold upgrades I have on my village. So let's go with the elixir first. Oh my word, there is some serious loot being spent on this episode. How many wall rings? 81 wall rings for one of these. 81 wall rings, there we go. 78 wall rings, we obviously don't have enough. What if we move this piece of wall? 48, yep, let's do it. 24, not enough. 21, not enough. 18, not enough. 15, not enough. Oh my goodness, where have my wall rings gone? Six wall rings 
Looks like the grilled cheese sandwich, I think Galadon gave these walls the nickname way back in the day. Looks like they are going to be on my village a little bit longer. Now, some people ask me, why do you have all of these lower levels of wall? For example, the level 9, which is only 160,000 gold. Honestly, with the introduction of super wall breakers, they're not as important as they used to be. So if I ever get to the stage where I'm going to be using a rune of elixir, let me show you to highlight my point. 19 million here, could we get one more? 21, oh, this is not going to highlight the point very well <laughs> because we only have 44 thousand elixir okay let me collect this just to show you now we have two hundred thousand yes we could use the trick of cooking up the troops in the background which you have to remember to delete the troops otherwise you're not getting that back but now rather than using the rune of elixir i can upgrade one of those pieces of wall you'd probably still then want to hide your elixir if possible by cooking up some troops but now i am getting way better value and even though it is very slowly it will make a difference in the long run with the amount of loot. I am going to use my book of building on one of these Tesla. I'm going to upgrade, let's say another one of these Tesla. And now that all six of my builders are working, let's boost them. That means I should get another builder in just over an hour. I'm actually going to go ahead since I have all of this and purchase a one day shield so that I know I'm not going to lose a silly amount of loot. If you are struggling with the snow day challenge, I have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.